Okay. Our English class is begin. So good good evening, every member. Today we will talk about the strong stocks selection in a board. My name is Jesse Ding. So today from the course you will learn some practical methods. Okay. So let's before the class. Let's see the six kinds of homely investments for index. Because we know uh, at the beginning of the seminar, we will talk about the market first. So today I will teach you how to uh, and how to use practical method to analyze index. So firstly, we can see the six kinds of homely investments for index. The first one, Horse raising in the beginning of bull market. So if you see the market just start, the bull market just start. You should know you can use horse raising. The next one, comprehensive analysis in the end of bear market. So if you see the bear market will be end soon. So you can use comprehensive analysis. The third one, money flowing in or not. If you see the market is in the medium term option, you can check whether the money flow in or flow out. The, third, the fourth one, funding institutional investors in strong rebound. The next one, valuations in the bottom area. If you see the price is in the bottom area, you just check the variations. The last one, follow the trend. This is the key factor of technical analysis. So if you want to judge the market, you want to analyze the stocks or index, you can use these six kinds of factors. Okay, so let's see the outline of today's course. The first one, we will talk about the difference between rebound and reversal. The next one, chart patterns of strong stocks because if we want to find strong stocks we should know first so how to know that how to know whether the stock is strong or not you can check by chart patterns the last one the critical risks of indicators so how to use some special indicators to judge this is the strong stocks okay so this is the outline of today's course and i hope you can understand so firstly, let's see this one. Watching the opportunity, the first one is rebound. So if you see the price, the market is in the uptrend, in the downtrend, we can catch rebound to earn some short, earn some short term invest, uh, short term profit. The next one, reversal. So if you see the price is from downtrend to the uptrend. You should know this is reversal. We have we can know that this is the opportunity. The next one, rise after higher low correction. So if you want to judge whether the market have opportun has opportunity or not, you can use the three methods. The first one, rebound. The next one, reversal. The last one, rise after a higher low correction. Okay, so this is the, I uh, will teach you how to watch the opportunity according to these factors. Firstly, let's see the difference between rebound and reversal. The first one, related conditions for rebound. So how to judge the chain is rebound or reversal. You can use this relation conditions. So how to judge? Later, I will show you. The next one, downtrend for medium term to long term. The next one, price drops quickly. The indicators show oversold states. So followed by this, uh, by this uh, factors, can you judge this is a rebound or reversal? This, this factors belongs to rebound. So if you see the price, it's in the downtrend for medium long term, medium to long term. The price drops quickly, or indicators show oversold states. 
this is the oh this is only for rebound, not reversal. So how to judge the change? This, this is the reversal signal. The first one, get changing process. A new trend comes out. Funds push up the price. So this is, if you see the these factors are satisfied, you can see you can confirm this is the reversal signal. Okay. So this is the difference between rebound and reversal. So later I will show you. Okay. This is the STI index. So we can see this is the STI index. I use weekly chart. So we know that in our investment philosophy, long term first, short term next. So if you want to judge the market or the individual stocks, you can see the weekly chart first, then check the daily chart. So let's see the weekly chart. This is the high point, high point, high point. And this is the low point, low point, low point, low point. From this high point and low points, what can you get from this chart? What can you get from get what what information can you get from the chart? Okay, so we can see this period. The high point is lower, low point is lower, downtrend or uptrend. Downtrend. Okay, so let's see this one. High point is higher, low point is higher, downtrend or uptrend. <coughs> Uptrend. Okay, but if we see only see this period and this period, so can you confirm this is the downtrend? This is the reversal or rebound? Okay, so we can see this one. This is the reversal or rebound. So we don't know, right? Yes, we don't know. Uh, we okay. So you should know. This is the reversal or Rebound. So you just remember two sentences. The first sentence you should remember as if the price don't create a new high, the all rising uh, belongs to rebound. Okay? And the price may hit a new may hit a new low if the if this is the rebound. Okay. So let's see the chart. This is the monthly, this is the weekly chart. Then we can check. So we see the medium trend, okay? So this is the high point, right? So we can see the current price. He create a new high or not? Create a new high or not? Not yet. Because this is the high point. This is the recent high point. So never create a new high. So can we concede this is the reversal? No, this is only for rebound, okay? And we can draw, we can see here. But you can see maybe here. This is a high point, high point, high point, and a high point. If you see the price cannot create a new high, the rebound, this is not rebound, only for, this is not reversal, only for rebound. So you should remember, okay? So this is the weekly chart. Then we can see next one. This is the weekly chart of STI index, okay? So we can see here, this is the price. This is also the weekly chart. This is the KDJ indicator, okay? So just now I already told you, if you use indicators, you also can judge this is the oversold or overbought area. Okay, so we can see the J line. If the J line below, uh, is below minus 20 to 20, this is the rebound, oversold area. And the above 80, overbought, okay? So we can see here, so we see this price. Now the market is in overbought or oversold? Overbought, why? Because the J line is above 80, which means now the market is in overbought area, okay? So you should know that. Then we can see this is the deviation expert. We can uh, we can judge the trend is top deviation or bottom deviation according to these indicators. Okay. So let's see this one. If you see the low point is lower, but deviation expert the low point is higher. This is the top uh, bottom deviation. If you see the price is in the bottom de 
motivation, you should know the market may have some good rebound. <coughs> but you should know this is only for rebound, not reversal. Okay. So let's see this one. This is the daily chart. We can see the daily chart. Okay. So we see the daily chart. According to this period, this is the uptrend or downtrend. Uptrend, right? Because the lower higher high and the higher low. So now it's the uptrend. But we can see this period. The market create a new high or not? Create a new high or not? No. Right. Because how to judge the market create a new high? For, from according to this period, create a new high or not? Yes. Right. OK. So you should, if you want to buy some stocks, you should judge the rising space. If the high point, if the resistance is coming soon, you cannot buy, okay? So let's see the market, the STI index. So we can see this is the STI index. So for here, already create a new high, right? But we can know that which point is the next resistance. If we judge the next resistance, we can know the rising space, right? Okay, so here create a new high. What the next resistance is around here, right? So if you want to buy some stocks now, so you should remember the rising space is is uh, is high, is large or not? Is small or large? Small, right? Because we can see the rising space is only here because this is the resistance of the previous high point or low point. So we can know this is the resistance. You should remember. If you want to buy some stocks, you can confirm. If you buy stocks, you should do short term rebound. You cannot do medium term because this one is not suitable for medium term. Okay, so let's continue. So now I will teach you how to judge the trend, okay? So I will teach you special method. So maybe uh, many investors, many members really use this function, okay? So the first one for the trend. Trend, history and present. So if you want to judge the trend, firstly, you can, uh, you can see the highs and the lows, highs and the lows. So how to judge according to highs and lows. If you see the higher high or the higher low, this is the uptrend. Lower low and the lower high is the downtrend, okay? So the next one, antenna. The last, the next one, indicators like homely rainbow, okay? So if you want to judge the trend, you can use these ind indicators to judge whether the trend is good or not. So firstly, let's see the trend first. A high and higher low. So let's see this one. This is the market, right? The daily chart. Low point is higher. High point is higher. So for the current price, this is the uptrend or downtrend. This is the uptrend, okay? So let's see some individual. If you confirm this is the uptrend, then we can draw the trend line. Okay, we can connect the low point to another low point and find the high point between these two low points. Then you can get the trend line. So we can know that if you see the trend, you should know for the current market, the trend is still uptrend. Okay, <laughs> so for at, the, uh, at this period, the low point is High point is lower, low point is lower. This is the downtrend. We also can draw the trend line, okay? So we can see this is the downtrend. If you see the downtrend line or uptrend line breaks through or fall below, you should know this is the reversal, okay? So let's see the, some individual stocks. Let's see this one. This is so strong stocks. Okay, so let's see this stock strong or not. 
So every time I taught you how to judge the chain, so we can see here, from this period, you can confirm this is uptrend or downtrend. Obviously, this is the downtrend because we can see high lower, high and the lower low. This is the downtrend, right? Okay, so we can see the next one. Then we can see the future price. Okay, so we see here, the low point is higher, high point is higher, downtrend or uptrend. This is the uptrend, right? So if you confirm this is the uptrend, good or not? Yes, it's quite good. So how to confirm this stock can get in or not? You just check whether the price create a new high or not. So we can see here, if you see the price like at this period, can you confirm this is the buy point or not? No, because it's not create a new high. But we can see here, we see the next day, create a new high or not? Yes, create a new high. What's that meaning? This is the good chance, okay? So if you see the price create a new high, so here if you buy, you still can keep. Then we can see the chart pattern. Then maybe you want to know whether now has opportunity, has opportunity or not. You can check the space, okay? So we can see the space is around here. So if you want to buy now, too dangerous, right? So can we buy now or not? Uh, you'd better not buy. Because we can see this is the resistance, right? So if the price touch the resistance, the price may go when has some short term correction. Okay, so let's see the next one. So let's see the GSS. So we can see, later I, uh, I will show you how to check the bad pattern, but we can see this stock. If you never buy this stock, you want to catch the another opportunity. So which, which point is the good point? To confirm, to confirm to buy. So we can see here, this is the resistance, right? So you should know, if you want to buy this stock, can buy or not? Cannot buy, because we can see this is the previous resistance. So if you want to buy now, you should know this is the rising space is small. You'd better wait and see. But when to get in, if you see the price can create a new high, you should know this is the opportunity for making some good profit. Okay, so let's see this one. So let's see this start. The high point, right? Low point. So we can know this is a downtrend, but for the current price, low point and the high point was the we can confirm the trend is uptrend, right? So if we confirm this is the uptrend, we can draw the trend line. So you should judge the buy and sell point according to the trend line. If the price touch the support, maybe you can consider buying. If the price touch the resistance, you can sell first, okay? So this is the trend. You can use highs and lows to judge the trend is uptrend or downtrend. The next one, untending. So what is the untending? This is the patterns, un pattern for history and present. So cannot be used to forecast the future. And you should use weekly chart first. So select, save, and future. So later I will show you how to use, how to, how to filter according to the end pattern. So firstly, if you want to judge the pattern, you can use weekly chart first, okay? Because long term first, short term next. So use weekly chart, okay? So let's see some examples. This function is called untending like a pattern, okay? So I will show you how to use this function effectively, okay? So this is a candlestick, normal candlestick. This is the unturning, okay? So firstly, we, I use the weekly chart. 
If you use weekly chart to judge, you should use short term earn turning, okay? But if you use daily chart, you'd better use medium term earn turning. You should remember. So let's see the chart. <coughs> so if we use weekly chart to judge, we'd better use NT short term turning. But if we use daily chart, we'd better use medium term turning. Okay, so this is the N turning. Then we can see this chart. This is the index. Okay, so we can see this index. So according to the chart, we can confirm it's easy to understand whether the trend is downtrend or uptrend, right? And uh, we can judge the pattern. So firstly, let's see this one. Which pattern is like? So we can see here. Which pattern is like? So for here, for this period, which pattern? W bottom, right? Okay, so this one? M top, okay? And we can see here, this is like which pattern? V pattern, right? And we can see the, la the large pattern, one, two, three, down, then up, then down, then up, then down, then up. Watch pattern, head and shoulder, bottom right. So it's easy to know which pattern is like, okay? But if we use indicators, it's difficult to judge. Okay, so let's see the next one. This is for the weekly chart. Then we can see the daily chart. The daily chart, we can use media term and turning, okay? So let's see this chart. Which pattern? W, w bottom, okay? So you should know, what's the difference between this one and this one? So this pattern according to the closing price, not the high price or low price, only for closing price, okay? So we can see here, this is which pattern? We don't know yet, okay? So this is maybe sideways. Then we can see this is the double bottom. So if you use this one to judge, this is the double bottom, you can confirm good or not. Good opportunity to get in, right? Okay, so we can see this one. Like M top, then you should know the price may have some short term correction. Then this one, double bottom again. What's that meaning? The market is still have chance, okay? So if you follow this one, we can judge the low point and the high point. This low point and this high low point, so the low one is low, higher or lower? Higher. higher than this one, okay? So we should know this period is sideways or downtrend, uptrend? Sideways, because we can see the high point lower, low point higher, this is the sideways. But we see here, the high point is, low point is higher, and high point is higher. So we can confirm this period, downtrend or uptrend? Uptrend. So if we know this is uptrend, we should, cons we should confirm this is a good chance for making some profit, okay? So let's see some another examples. Let's see the treason. I use daily chart, so we can use media term penny, okay? So good or not? So firstly, we can see this period, downtrend or uptrend or sideways. Sideways, because we can see the high point, maybe it's higher, but low point is lower, or high point is lower, low point is higher. This is the sideways. So when you confirm, the sideways turn to change to the uptrend. Okay, so we see here, low point is higher, high point is higher, high, low point is higher. What's the trend? This is the uptrend. So if you confirm this is the uptrend, buy or not? We can buy and keep stocks in the uptrend and uh, sell, hold money in the downtrend. So if you confirm this is the uptrend, you buy or not? You can find opportunity to buy. When to buy? When you see the price create new high, you can buy again, okay? So see the next one. This is alliance, okay? So let's see the alliance, this stock. Low point is 
hi her, hi hoi is hi her, up trend or down trend. Obviously, this is up trend, but we can see here. This is the yesterday's price. Then we can check today's price. Okay, so let's see the alliance. So let's check the media term because this is daily chart. So we can see here today, this is the unturning and we can check the candlestick. Next, uh, this window is the candlestick. Create a new high or not? So we should know whether create a new high according to the closing price, create a new high or not? We can check here, yes or not. Maybe all the same, or maybe the same, okay? So if you check the next day, the price drop, unturning reversal, what's that meaning? Like M top, so can buy or not? Cannot buy. Then let's see the treason. <coughs> Still good, right? So if you, at this period, maybe you think, should I sell or not? Because it's too high already. But you can check the chain. Still up, so sell or not? Keep it, okay? No need to sell, just keep it. Let's see the novel. So we can see here. So for this one, up trend or down trend? Uptrend, but you should know. Uptrend or downtrend? Downtrend. High point is higher, but low point is lower. You should know the stock from uptrend to sideways. What's that meaning? This is reversal, okay? So if you want to buy, you cannot, okay? Cannot buy, but you should know when to sell, okay? So let's see the next one. Let's see this one. So we can see here which pattern like. This one is head bottom, head and, uh, head and shoulder top. Okay, so you should know when is the good selling opportunity. Here, right, because we can see already pattern already the price already break through this pattern you see the pattern is like head and shoulder top you buy or not you cannot buy you should consider selling okay so we can see the price drop okay so we can see now it's good or not this is today's price so good or not still not good right because the trend is up trend or down trend so we can check the high point. High point is lower. Low point is lower. Down trend or up trend? Down trend. So if you see here, maybe the price sharply up, but can buy or not? Cannot. If you buy here, you cannot make profit. Okay? So you can judge this one according to the pattern. Then we can see next one. This one is anchor result. I already taught you. This is for the daily chart. So let's see this one, anchor resource, okay? So let's see this pattern. I don't, uh, this is yesterday's price, then we can check, okay? So according to this pattern, downtrend or uptrend, downtrend, and we can see here, high point is higher. So we can see uptrend or downtrend. Uptrend because we can see this is the high point, high point, and here high point. This is the uptrend. So we can see today's price. Today is still up, right? So we can see the pattern. Which pattern is like? So we can see here. This is like hard shot the bottom, right? But we can see which one. This is the head and shoulder bottom, so you should know. If the price can create a new high, this one good or not? Yes, it's good, okay? So you should check whether it can create a new high or not. So this is the 
chart pattern. But how to filter according to this N turning? Because maybe we want to select some stocks like uh, like this pattern. So how to select? Okay. So firstly, you can click NT. You should find the pattern you like. Okay. Click NT. You click. This is for the you'd better filter by the according uh use you'd better use weekly chart to filter. Okay. So click NT, then click select. So maybe you want to find some stocks like this pattern. This is the chaser, right? So I want to find some stocks like this pattern. We can select this area, okay? Then select first. Uh, uh, and uh, find this area, okay? Then you click filter. Then you click select. Then this one will come out. A uh, pattern name, tracing holding. So this is for the N turning, okay? So I will show you how to do that. So we find weekly chart and uh, CHASC and find this stock. So I want to select some pattern like this. You should click NT, then click select. So maybe I want to select this area or this one, uptrend or downtrend. I want to select the pattern like this, okay or not? Yes, then you just click NT, click save. Then after you click save, this will come out automatically. So we can check pattern name, tracing holding, okay? So this pattern instruction date, I feel I select this date, then finish this one, okay? So do you know how to do that? So if we want to filter some stocks like which pattern, so maybe we see here, GSS, I want to find the pattern like this. You just click NT, select. So I want to find this pattern. This pattern is good or not? Yes, uptrend, right? So we just click NT, save. Then this one we can see pattern name, GSS energy. Okay, so maybe you want to find some other patterns then we can check. Or you want to find some head, shoulder, bottom, or this is long bottom pattern, you also can check. Use short term turning, okay? Because this is the weekly chart. So we click NT, select. I want to select this pattern, like head, shoulder, like long bottom, right? Okay, I just click this one. Then this one will come out. Okay, so we can click NT, save. Then we can see here, pattern name, GSS energy. Okay, so you can use this method to find some strong pattern stocks. Okay, so, okay, this is the first one. And the next one, you know this method, right? You know how to use, okay. Then we can see next one. If we use one condition to find some stocks, maybe I want to find some stocks which have the bank money in. How to do that? You just click multi color dragon, change the or change the to the logical filter. Then original indicator change to the MCD. Okay. Change to FCD, then you can check the parameter, change to one. Let, so we can see the next one. One day's moving average of profit chips, upward penny. Why I use this one to select? Because if we select the multi and the red profit chips more than 50, so many stocks, stocks will come out right. And you should know if this one red column is in 
or it's above 50. So because many people, many investors want to find some stocks which the bank money just gets in. So you can use this method. Okay, the red column just appeared. Okay, so you click change the parameter to one, then profit chips moving average, upward turning, click add. Then you can select some stocks which have the bank money just in. Okay, so what's that meaning? Let's see this one. So we can see the bank money. If we select the bank money in, okay, then we can see this one. If you see select the bank money like this, but we want to select the bank money just get in. How to do that? So we can, because so many uh, investors, uh, so many members ask me, can we find some stocks just the bank money? The red card just appeared. So you can use this method to find, okay? So I will show you how to do that. So firstly, we should find some good <coughs> pattern first, okay? So which pattern you want to find? Then you just check some uh, strong stocks first. Let's click weekly chart, okay? So you can see recently this stock is strong. Then I want to find some stocks like this pattern, because we can see so strong stock, right? Okay, so we just click NT, short term turning. I want to find some stocks like this pattern. Okay, we click NT, select, then we click change, select this one. Okay or not? Yes, then we click NT, save. Then this one, Trading holding. This is the pattern name. Okay, so this is the first filter condition. How to do the next condition? We click logical filter, then change the original indicator to MCD. Then log change the parameter to one, and the profit moving average logical relation change to upward turning. Then we click add. That's all. Then we click filter. It's okay. Then we can check whether there have some stocks like GSS and uh, like the pattern. So we can see this one. The first one is the pattern like this. Okay. So we check the pattern and the multicolor dragon. Okay, so we can see this one. Bank money in or not? Yes, but few, right? Few bank money. So you can check the trend is in the still down trend. So you should wait till the price create a new high. Okay, because we just select the pattern like chosen just start to rising, okay, just start to rise, okay. Then we can see next one. This one is all good or not, like this pattern, okay. So you can use this method to find some pattern like what you want, okay. So you should learn this method. I just give you some example, but you learn is the most important. Okay, so this is the turning. And the next one, we can judge the trend according to homely rainbow. Okay, homely rainbow, we can see so many lines. The white line is for the, the white line is for the long term, okay? The blue line is for the medium long term. The yellow line is for medium term. The red line is for short term, okay? And the green line is for life line. It's life line. So if you want to judge the trend, you can use homely rainbow to judge. 
So we can see this one. This is the up trend or down trend for the market. Up trend, right? Because we can see the white line, the yellow line, and the red line and blue line are all up. And we can see the long term trend, medium term trend, and short term trend are also good. Okay? So, homely rainbow. HRB white lines going downwards, high possible rebound. Okay? After period decline, white lines going flat and below broken by price, in which case high possible reversal. Okay? So we can see this one. Oh, I, okay. So how to do that? The white, then we can check the formerly rainbow line, okay? Just now I already showed you how to judge the trend. Then we can check this one. So if you want to the start is good or not, then we can check the trend line, okay? So let's see this start. This is for the weekly chart. Let's see the daily chart. So we can see here. The line is down trend or up trend. The lines are all down, okay? So we can see here. The, line, the white line is down, right? And the yellow line upward, okay? Upward, upward. <coughs> then the, we can see the trend for the media pump is good or not. It's good. Then we can see here, if you see the price upward break out the white line, which means the possible, the possible rebound is high. The high possible for the rebound, okay? So we can see the next one. So we see here, for this start, it's up trend or down trend. We can see the white line. The white line is flat, which means the long term trend is sideways. Okay. So we can see why this stock still not below because the gap support of the blue lines. Okay. So we can see the next one. See some find some high volume stocks, and we can check. So you should remember, only rainbow white lines going downwards, the high possible rebound, okay? So you should know after a period of decline, white lines going flat and below broken by price, in which case high possible reversal, okay? So let's see some chart. This one we know that is for, is Good, but we can check the weekly chart. Weekly chart, the price just uh, touched the white line. Okay, so what's that meaning? For the weekly chart, you should pay more attention to the resistance. Okay, so if you can up again, you can hold again. If cannot, you should know the price may have some short term correction. Okay, then we can see next one. ISR, up trend or down trend. So we can see here, for this day, the price sharply up, the price soared. And we can see the volume is also high. But if can buy here or not? Cannot, because the white line is down, yellow line is down, red line also down. So for the short term trend, medium term trend, and long term trend, uh, or down trend. So can buy or not? Cannot buy. If you buy, you will lose some money. Okay? So we can see next one. This one is good or not? Trend is up. Okay? Better than the stocks is in the down trend. So we can see this one. Why this one still sideways? Because the white line has strong resistance. So if we can see the high price touch the white line resistance cannot break through, still 
during the sideways area. Okay, so we can see the next one. Alliance, uptrend or downtrend? This is uptrend because we can see the lines for the long term trend, up, medium term trend, and short term trend are all uptrend. So it's good or not? It's quite good. Okay, so we can see this one also good because the trend are all up. So you can find some stocks like this. So this one good or not? Still uptrend right and uh, create a new high. So you should know this one. <coughs> the price upward breaks through the white line, then go down. Touch the support of the white line, then go up again. So from down trend to the up trend. Okay, so it's good. Then we can see next one. So let's see this start. It's good or not? So for the medium term trend, short term trend also good. But just now I already told you, if the price cannot create a new high, it's only for rebound. Okay. So if you see this one, if the price can create a new high, good or not? It's good. Okay. So you should know how to charge. So this is the home rainbow. So just now I already taught you how to use some uh, indicators to judge the trend is in the uptrend or downtrend. So later, now I will show you the indicators for strong stocks. So we know that for the monthly chart, why we should see the monthly chart? Because we want to find some space, structure, and pattern, okay? The next one, for the weekly chart, we see the weekly chart to find the trend. The daily chart, we find the buy and the sell point. So if you want to judge the buy and the sell point, you should see the weekly, the daily chart. But you want to find the judge the trend, you should see the weekly chart. If you want to find some writing space and the pattern, you should see the monthly chart. But if you want some find some momentum, you should see the mini chart. Okay. So this is indicators for strong stocks. If you want to see how to see why you should see the monthly chart or mini chart or daily chart or weekly chart, you can you, according to these factors. Okay. So let's see the chart pattern. This very important for us. Firstly, the bottom area. Okay. We can make more profits from those stocks which individual investors fully, can, institution investors fully control. What's that mean for the fully control? We can use one method to judge whether the trend, the stocks have bank money fully control or not. So let's see this one. We can use multicolor dragon to judge whether the share has bank money fully control or not. So we can see this is the multicolor dragon, okay? So the red column represents the bank money. The yellow column represents the hot money like day trader. The green column represents the hot the retailers, okay? So if you see the red column is above 50, which means the bank money fully control, okay? So you can see this stock. Why this stock so strong? Because bank money fully control. The red column is about 50 bank money fully control, okay? So let's see the next one. This one, why this one is strong? Because the bank money is about 50, bank money still control. But if you see the red column below 50, what's that meaning? the bank money going out, okay? So you should remember. Then we can see this one. This one bank money inside or not? No, because there's no bank money, okay? So if you see the red column is above 50, which means the bank money fully control, okay? So let's see the next one. Two controlling methods. Sideways in bottom area, rising slowly in bottom area. So today I will teach you these two controlling methods. The first one for the sideways in bottom area. The next one for the rising slowly in bottom area. Okay, so let's see this one. 
sideways in bottom area. So firstly, maybe you see some stocks decline, then sideways. What's the sideways? Maybe the low point is lower, but high point is higher. Or low point is higher, high point is lower. So this is a sideways area. So like the top of the box is the resistance. Bottom of the box is the support, okay? So if you see the price fall below the bottom of the box, what's that mean? Here's a new low, can buy or not? Cannot buy because the price will decline again, okay? So we can see this one. But if you see the price upward break through the top of the box, what's that mean? The price may go, may rise, okay? So this is a good pattern for strong stocks. If you see the pattern like this, you should confirm it's the strong stocks in the future, okay? So let's see how to confirm. Blue chips break out the resistance, the good fundamental. If the fundamental is not good, the price may not go, may, may not create a new high, may not break out. Okay, sell with large size at top, buy with large size at the bottom. Okay, so we see here. If you see the stock is sideways during this period, here you buy, here you sell, here you buy, here you sell. Okay, if the price fall below bottom of box, you should sell. If the price Break out the top of box, you can buy, okay? So to make retailer sell, retailers sell. So if you see the pattern like this, this is the strong stocks pattern, okay? Then we see some stocks. So firstly, let's see this one. We can see this pattern. The price decline, then sideways, right? This is the sideways area. Then, but we can see the bank chip, the bank money. The red column appears around here, okay? But we can see here, the bank money is still in, and the green column decrease or increase? Decrease, what's that meaning? Retailers sell, okay? Make retailers sell, then banker collect the, the chips, so can push the price up. Okay, so we can see here, this is the sideways right. The price upward breaks through the sideways area, and we can check the bank money increase, the volume increase, it's good or not, it's quite good. So we see here, this is small consolidation area, okay? So we can see this small consolidation area. So we see here, the price upward breakout, and we can check the banker increase, the volume increase, good or not, good. Then we can see the price drop here, this is the big support, but here we buy or not. Here if you buy, you can earn great profit. You should learn the method, okay? Stock, individual stocks is not important. Methods of funding strong stocks is, are more important, okay? So let's see the next one. This is for the black gold, okay? So let's see this stock. The price decline, right? Decline, decline. And the sideways, so we can see this is the sideways area, right? Okay, the sideways area. Then we can check according to the bank, the bank money, red column. The red column decrease or increase? Increase. The blue chip, the green column decrease, which means the retailers sell their stocks. Then the banker collect the chips, okay? So we can see here, the price upward break out, upward break out the sideways area, and we can see the banker money, the red column increase, the volume increase. So what that means? This is a good point to get in. Okay, so if you buy here, you can earn great profit. Okay, so let's see the next one. Let's see this stock, it's good or not. Firstly, we can check the price decline, right? Okay, then sideways. Then we can check according to the banker, banker money, the red column. So we can see the red column. Green column decrease or increase? 
decrease during the sideways area. What's that meaning? Even if the stock is in sideways, but green column decrease, which means the retailers sell their stocks. Bank money increase, what's that meaning? Bankers collect their chips. So we can see here, this is the sideways area. Then the price upward break out the sideways area. Banker money, the red column increase, the volume increase. So this is the good chance. Okay, so let's see some examples. So let's see Yang Zijiang. We can see this period. So firstly, we can know that this is the downtrend or uptrend. It's the downtrend, right? And we can see here, this is the sideways area. Why? Because the low point is not lower, but high point. Low point is the same, high point is the same. Sideways or uptrend? Sideways. Then we can draw the box. We draw the box, okay? Still sideways right, then we draw the box. Then we can draw the box we see here. Okay, then we can see this box. Then we check whether can go in or not. So firstly, we can check the the retailers, the green column decrease, right? What's that mean? Retailers sell their stocks, but the bank money increase or not? Not yet. Then better wait and see. Can buy or not? Here can buy or not? Cannot because the price fall below the sideways area, hit a new low, what does that mean? Wait and see, okay? Then we see another day. This is another sideways area. This is another sideways area, okay? Then we can see why this stock can buy. Because we see here, the green column decrease and the price upward break out the sideways area. Bank money increase. So it's good or not? Yes, it's quite good. Then you can see the price still up. So we can see here, still sideways right. So what's that meaning? Upward again. Bank increase again, volume increase again, good or not? Quite good. But we see current price is good or not. So we can see the price up, the high point, this is the high point, high point, high point. Create a new high or not? Not yet. So if you want to buy this stock, you'd better wait and see, okay? So you can draw the line. Draw the box. So you should you should wait and see. If the price fall below, what's that mean? Sell. If can create a new high again, you can buy again. Okay. So this is some skills for judging some good pattern. And we can see next one. So let's see this one. Just now I already showed you. Okay. So this is the sideways area. The bank the green column decrease. Why the bank de green column decrease? Because the bank, the retailers sell their stocks. Okay, so it's good. Retailers sell their stocks, good or not? Good chance, okay. So you see the price up or the breakout, bank increase, volume increase. This is a good chance. So if you see the pattern like this, you'd better buy, okay?
Next one. Just now I already showed you the sideways in the bottom. The next one is sideways, but what's the difference? Just now the price is decline than sideways, but for these three situations, the price up than sideways. This is the different, okay? This is the difference. So we can see the first one. The price up, then down. The up again, then down again. So this is the sideways right. So maybe in the future, the price up will break out. Okay, so this is the first one. The second one, the price up, then down. Up, then this candlestick up will break out. This create a new high. This is the second one. The third one, up, then sideways, then up again. So if you see the pattern, these three patterns, which pattern you prefer? You should uh, think about it, okay? If you learn some method, you should uh, think, not just uh, listen, okay? So which pattern you prefer? Do you prefer? <coughs> the first pattern, sideways, then maybe in the future, the price up will break out. The second one, price then drop, then up, up will break out. The third one, price up, then sideways, then up will break out. Which pattern you will choose? If you see three stocks like this three pattern, which pattern you will select? Why the third one? Okay, so let's see the first one. The first one, up, then down. Up, then down. So in the future, just a break out. So from this period, we should know the more the this is this stock is ups and downs. This one is good or not? Actually, it is not good among these three patterns. Okay, because in the future breakout, so you should know for the current for the current uh, market for the current price, you should know the. The rising power is not good. Strength is not good. The second one, up, then down. Why the price up, then go down? Because maybe some bankers sell their stocks, right? Then the price drop. Then go up again, this side, then up the breakout. So maybe this is a false breakout, okay? But why the third one is the best? Because we can see the price up sideways. Why the stocks is in sideways? If the bankers sell their stocks, the price will drop. But the price is sideways, which means the bankers still control. Okay. So if you see the sideways upward breakout again, this is a good chance. So you should remember which pattern is the best pattern for us. The third one is the best. Okay. So let's see the liquidation in MCD Multicolor Dragon. Red column decrease. Red column decrease. No green ones or a few yellow ones decrease. This is a liquidation. So how to find the stocks like this? So maybe the price up, then sideways, right? So how to find this sideways area? Red column must decrease. Why? Because sideways, the price, if the price continue to go up, the multicolor dragon red column will increase, but sideways the red column decrease. Okay, no green ones or a few yellow ones increase. Yellow ones means hot money. Okay, no green ones means they will retire. Okay, then we can see how to play. Let's see the pattern like this. The price up, then sideways right. Up, then sideways. The bankers steer in, okay? Then not disappear. So after the breakthrough, this is the good chance, okay? But we want the, we want to find some stock this uh, belongs to this pattern, can find or not. Do you think can find these stocks or not? Because maybe here, if I found here, 
the price already up. But I want to find some stock <coughs> during this sideways area. Then maybe in the future I can check which day the price will up or the breakout. So can you find or not? You should think because software have a big filter platform and you can set the conditions what you like according to, uh, by the uh, uh, filter platform, okay? So let's see this one. This one is up, right? Up, then sideways. Which price we should buy? If you see the price upward break through this sideways area, buy or not? Can buy again, okay? But now can buy or not? Better to wait and see. Okay, so like this one, rising slowly. Just now I showed you how to find some stocks, okay? Which pattern is bad, is the best. So this pattern, you should wait till the price upward breakout. But I can ask you all a question. So let's see the two situations. The first one, the price drop sideways, then here, Break out, and the next one up, then sideways. Break out. So the first, this is the A, this is the B. Which one you will choose? A, A or B? B? If you choose A, you should know the reason. If you choose B, you also need to know was why you choose this one. So for the first one. Which the which one has the high accuracy? A or B? High accurate, accurate, high accurate. Which one has high accurate? High possibility of making money. B. Why the B? Okay. So we can see the price go down. Then sideways break out. Uh, this is the reversal or rebound. Reversal. Only for rebound. Okay? This is only for rebound because here has the high point. Here is the resistance. And here another resistance. So you should know if the price up, then so many resistance. Okay? But why B is good? Up, then sideways go up again no resistance okay so you should choose b is the best okay it's better so we can see the third pattern rising slowly we can check this one the price go down the some stocks like this pattern lower higher high and higher low or oh, higher high and higher low uptrend or downtrend uptrend so the mini delta or small cap stocks, steady fundamental. This fundamental is steady, like the blue chips or, or uh, big cap stocks or media term. Buy with large size service or banker got in little by little. So let's check this one. So we can see the price down, the side from downtrend to the uptrend, higher high and the higher low. So you should know this is the uptrend. So if you see this stock like this, the fundamental is good or not? Yes, the steady, the, the rising steady, you should know this one is good for medium term, okay? Not for short term, for medium term. So you can check this one. The two filter methods. Just now I already showed you the three patterns of strong stocks. Then how to filter? This is the true filter method. The first one, bottom chart pattern sideways. If you see the price is in the bottom chart pattern sideways, close his new high. You can choose this condition. If you want to find some stocks, the bottom chart pattern sideways, you should click this, choose this condition. Close, hit a new high. The second one, 
and see these after retailers increase or disappear. High portable build shares or pour up. This one may be multicolor dragon. The red green column decrease or disappear, right? The third one, bottom chart pattern rising slowly. If you want to select this pattern, you also need to find this condition. Close hits a new high. Okay? So the next one, multicolor dragon bankers appear or increase high possible for up. So if you want to filter some stocks, maybe you use these two conditions to filter or these two conditions to filter stocks. The first one is for the sideways in the bottom area. This one is for the rising slowly. So you choose this one or this one also can. It's up to you, okay? So how to set this filter condition? How to set? You should think first because you are using the software. So you need to think, you need to find some good ways to increase your accuracy, okay? So I just show you, I just tell you why we should this, why we find this, how to find these conditions. But you should set by yourself, okay? Then I will show you how to do that. Then maybe after the seminar, you can do it by yourself, okay? So the first one, firstly, bottom chart pattern, like sideways, we choose this pattern for filtering. This one for the down, the price decline, then sideways in the bottom, the break out. So this is the first one. We filter this one first. I set this filter condition for you first, okay? So how to do, find it? Firstly, we should click technical filter, then click quotation. Close his new high in 20 days. This is the default. So you just use the default. Close his new high in 20 days. Why? We can see this one. Close his new high. This one is possible or not? No, his new high already, so it's too high already, okay? So this one close at maximum price. This one no need. We just the fun close his new high in 20 days. Okay? So this is the first condition. Next condition. Box breakout. Why? Because this is the box, right? We want to find some stocks. The box top breakout. So we can click eight experts. The box top breakout. Okay? So this one. Then the next one, next one is different, okay? So this one and this one, the third condition is different. So we can see the first one. The first one is green color decrease or disappear, right? Okay, so how to set? The first one, L, the first one is for the logical chips moving average, downward turning. Downward turning, why? Or logical trips less than zero, uh, disappear less than zero, also can. It's up to you, okay? <laughs> but I use this one. Logical moving average, downward turning. Downward turning means decrease. You should know. So I show you. We can see the three lines, right? This is the green, 10 days moving average of green color, retailers. If you see here, the green column decrease, so you should know the green line downward turning. Okay, so if you see the down, green line downward turning, the green column decrease. Okay, same meaning. Okay, then this is this one. So if we only use this one condition, can select some stocks in the bottom area. Okay, so I show you how to do that. Firstly, we click technical filter, then clear or first. The first one, quotation, close hit a new high in 20 days. Eight experts, box top breakout. Box top breakout. The third one, click logical filter, 
change the original indicator, uh, original indicator to MCD. Okay, so the first condition, L chips moving average within one day, downward turning, click add. Okay, this is the first one for filtering the A pattern stock. Okay, so we just click filter. Let's check whether can filter some stocks or not. If cannot, we use another one or you can can you combine this indicate can you set this whole condition into one filter one filter method also can it's up to you okay but now there's not there are no any stocks okay so this one no any stocks then we can check another one another one the previous condition are the same, okay? But why you should why we cannot filter some stock like this? Because now the price, now the market is in the sideways or oversold or uptrend, uptrend. So if you see the market is in the oversold area, you can use this method to filter, okay? Because drop sideways and go up. So let's see the let's try the next one. Logical filter, multicolor dragon, change this one to one. Profit chips. You see this one. I combine these two together. Okay. I set together. Profit chips. Upward cost profit moving average. Okay, so let's see this one. Profit trips, upward cross, profit moving average, click add. So let's filter again. So what's that meaning? Profit trips, upward cross, profit moving average, like this. Profit trips, profit moving average, upward cross, profit moving average, profit trips, like this area, okay? So maybe still cannot. Let me check whether can filter some stocks or not. Because you can check, maybe today cannot filter, you can check another day, okay? But this, if you follow this method, the possibility is high, okay? So let's continue. This one is for selecting stock retailers decrease or disappear, okay? So let's continue. Prior requested save for filtering. Index in oversold area. Means the index start to rebound. It's in oversold area. How to judge the market is in oversold? You can use dynamic chips to judge. If you see the dynamic chips is purple or purple to yellow, you can consider use this filter method to find some strong stocks, okay? So let's see this one. What's that meaning? So let's see this market first. This is the market. Then we can use dynamic chips to judge, okay? So we see here, now the market, the dynamic chips is purple or not? No, it's red, okay? So. If you use this method, cannot filter some stocks. But if we select the stocks around here, can or not? Yes, we can fit. We can find some strong stocks according to this filter method. So we see here, purple, the market, the index is in dynamic chips is in is purple color or purple to yellow. So around this area, we can use this filter method to find some strong stocks, okay? Then, next one. Index in the uptrend means the homely rainbow uptrend. Index in sideways, pay close attention to the support. So if you see the index is in sideways area, you should pay close attention to the support, 
Okay, so you should remember the first one indexing over salt areas that rebound. You can use dynamic chips, purple or purple yellow. This is for selecting some stocks just break out. The index in the uptrend, homely rainbow uptrend, index in sideways, pay close attention to the support. Okay, so this is the future, the previous question uh, for the future. So let's see the story, the good story for us, because I found I choose this story from others that I share with you all. Okay, an uneducated <coughs> father with his educated son went on a camping trip. They set up their tent and fell asleep. Fell asleep. Some hours later. The father woke up his son. Father said, look up to the sky and tell me what you see. Then the son said, I see millions of stars. The father said, and what does that tell you? What does that tell you? Son said, astronomically, it tells that there are millions of gal uh, galaxies and planets. Father said, a father slaps the son hard and says, Idiot, some had stolen our tent. So for the different person, say has different different person have different views, right? So we can see maybe father say the tent is this has stone, okay? But some says they saw so many stars. Okay, millions of stars. So moral, too much education can spoil our common sense. But too much education, it's up to you. If you follow the wrong method, you will it will spoil our common sense. But if you select correct method, maybe it's good. But method, no need to learn so many methods. Okay, if you learn. If you learn so many methods, it also will spoil your common sense, okay? So if you have maybe your good trading platform, you can use this trading platform to trade your stocks. But if you have several trading platform, several trading system, or several trading strategy, it will spoil your common sense. So you should remember, this is the good story so maybe I share with you all, okay? So how to improve the success rate? Trend, trend is the first. The next one, momentum from funds, then regularity. This is the three important factors, important information, okay? Trend, momentum from funds, and regularity. So analysts, Analysis to be simplified. The first one, ways of thinking. Homely investment philosophy. Long term first, short term next. In index first, stock next. Operate the familiar. So you should you should have the ways, the correct ways of thinking, like homely investment philosophy. The next one, implementation method, knowledge from homely, the tool for Implement, uh, implementation homely software, okay? So if you want to let your analysis to be simplified, you should remember the three things. The first one, ways of thinking, then homely <coughs> investment philosophy. Next one, knowledge of homely and the homely software, okay? So let's review the course. You should remember the important things. What is the important things? Today, I already taught you how to find strong stocks, how to select the strong stocks in the board. The first one, you should remember six kinds of homely investment for index, okay? So you should remember this one is important. So in the beginning of bull market, in the end of bear market, in medium term uptrend, or in strong rebound in bottom area, and the 
what is the key option analysis, technical analysis. The next one, we learned the rebound, reversal, and rise after higher low correction. So how to judge the rebound or reversal? If you see the price <coughs> down, is in the long term for medium term to long term, our price drops quickly. Indicators show oversold states. This is the rebound. But if you see the gap changing process, a new trend comes out, funds push up the price. This is the reversal. Okay. So the next one. How to judge the trend? We can use highs and lows, earn turning or homely rainbow to judge whether the trend is uptrend or downtrend. Okay. So earn pattern, I already taught you. You can use earn turning. To judge. If you use a twenty four, you'd better use weekly chart. If you use weekly chart, use short term antenna. If you use daily chart, better to use medium term antenna. Okay? So this is this one. Then filter, I already showed you how to filter. Like uh, maybe you want to filter some stocks like this strong stock pattern, you can use this method to filter, okay? Then indicators for strong stocks. So monthly chart help us to find space or pattern. Weekly chart can show us the change. Daily chart can help us to find the buy and sell point. The mini chart is find the momentum. Okay. Then chart pattern for the bottom area. So sideways in bottom area and rising slowly in bottom area. So you should remember this chart. Sideways in bottom area, top of box, bottom of box. You should check if the price fall below, not good. I will break out, good. Okay. So this pattern is also the same sideways. This is also the breakout, but it's different because the uptrend breakout. Okay. So liquidation, and we can see this pattern rising slowly. If you see this share is. From downtrend to the uptrend and rising slowly, you can you should know steady fundamental. Okay. okay. Then two filter methods. So how to filter stocks? The bottom chart pattern sideways close hits a new high. Multicolor dragon stock retailers decrease or disappear. Maybe you can check the green color decrease. But the green column below zero or ten days moving average of green column retailers upward downward turning. The next one, bottom chart pattern rising slowly, close hits a new high. Okay? The multicolor dragon, the red column bankers appear or increase. Increase how to set. Ten days moving average of profit chips upward turning. Okay. High possible for up. So this is a few two filter methods, and you should know the pre-requested state site for filtering, and uh, we share the good story. Then how to improve the success rate? So how to let your analysis to be simplified? So we should remember, believe in probability, not luck. So what's that mean? What should be why? This is very important for us. If you see the price, this, this stock has high probability for making money, and then another one less probability for making money. Which one you should choose? The first one, high probability for making money. So believe in probability, not luck. Okay. So you should remember this sentence. So this is today's course. And I hope you can learn some uh, good pattern of strong stocks from this today's course. Okay, so thank you so much.